Hello. In this video, we are looking at our first tax effective savings method being tax free investments. Tax free investments were introduced in 2015 by the South African government in order to encourage people to save more and specifically to encourage long term savings. Tax free savings investments are only offered by certified financial services providers and specifically designated ones such as banks and long-term insurers that are entitled to offer these types of products which have to be products that are based on assets that are not um, actively managed so it can't be a fund that is managed by a financial advisor but it will be an index fund or a bank account or something along those lines. All income, dividends and capital gains tax from tax-free savings are completely tax-free as the name suggests. And as I've mentioned and probably will mention again, it's very useful for long-term savings and that's when you're going to get the most benefits out of it. In short, the benefits of a tax-free investment is that you can put away an amount of money or amounts of money into a tax-free investment and any returns on that investment are completely tax-free forever. So there are of course some rules. You can only put in 36,000 Rand per year into a tax-free investment and over your lifetime only 500,000. You can have as many tax-free investments as you'd like with different providers as long as you keep to those two rules that you can only put in 36,000 per year and 500,000 over a lifetime. If you put more than that in, you are going to have to pay tax on the returns on the amounts over those prescribed limits at a rate of 40%. So that's not ideal. So some tips to best utilize tax-free investments is to invest in assets that are going to provide you capital growth. Rather than interest, you are looking for index funds that are going to um, give you capital growth and dividends. Because interest, you already have um, uh, annual exemption of 27,000 odd rand which you can earn in interest and you don't have to pay any tax on. So investing in a tax-free savings account that pays you interest is almost pointless. Rather invest in indexes like a JSE Top 40 or a Signia Industrial Revolution account or one of those. We're going to look at a few options in a later video. And those types of investments will give you capital appreciation over a period of 30 years, their value will grow by multiple times, hopefully. And then once you sell that, you won't have to pay any capital gains tax. And also the dividends earned on that will also not be subject to dividends tax. Also importantly, as I've mentioned, this is not for short term savings. So do not put away money in your tax free investment that you want to utilize again soon. This is for money that you want to utilize in 30 years or 40 years even if you can. And once it's in, don't take it out until you have to. And preferably it should be left for when you retire or later. So that's a, a quick introduction to tax-free investments. Next, we're going to look at other retirement savings methods and after doing that, we're going to look at some ways or some practical ways on how you can actually um, best set up a, a retirement or long term savings plan that is tax effective. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.